City in New York for decades, important animal rights legislation has not moved ahead. With the election of our new mayor, hopefully, we'll be moving ahead in a positive direction, most notably banning the horse-driven carriage industry in the city of New York once and for all. <laughs> and, you know, uh, as Donnie also mentioned, that some, you know, the opposition always says this is a special interest group. Yet, when polls are taken in the city of New York, overwhelmingly, people support the protection of animals. And every poll that has ever been taken on whether or not the carriage horse industry should be abolished, people overwhelmingly, by like 70%, if I remember correctly, say that industry should be abolished. So now is the time for all of us and the elected officials and the new mayor and the new city councils to finally pass this <laughs> legislation. And I'm here to say, I'm still going to fight for this legislation in terms of banning the carriage horse industry in the state if the city fails to act. <laughs> but I think we've come to a crossroads. And hopefully, whether it's, it's banning the carriage horse industry, um, putting sprinklers in pet stores if you can't ban them, um, all the pieces of legislation that we've talked about over the years, and there is so much that could have been done with the previous mayor and the previous speaker of the city council. Hopefully we're going to get this enacted real soon, and this has to be a priority, along with all the other things the new mayor and the city council have to overturn based upon the previous mayor. But we hope, we will, and we stand here to make sure that it is going to happen. And let, and I, and I, you know, this is just me speaking. I'm not going to put this on anybody else. But if the new mayor and the new city council do not move ahead, shame on them. When they made a commitment during the campaign, we expect them to keep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.